Are you looking for information on how to use the C4FM feature on your Yaesu FT5D radio? Well then you've come to the right place. Today I'll be showing you how to use this function and how to set it up on your radio, so stick around. Hey, I'm Steve, K4SRF, and welcome to my channel. This is a continuation of my series of the newest radio released by Yaesu, the FT5D. I will be covering the C4 FM feature of this radio in this video, so let's go ahead and get started. The DGID function allows communications between group members that use the same two-digit ID numbers uh, ranging from 00 to 99. It can, they can be set for both transmit and receive, and only group members with the same matching set of IDs can be heard. The GM function may also be uh, utilized to automatically monitor whether the group members, uh, group member stations, with the same DGID numbers are in operational range or communication range. The DGID number 00 will detect signals with all ID numbers. Setting this, for, uh, this to 00 for both transmit and receive will permit reception of the signals from all stations using digital uh, C4FM modes regardless of the DGID settings on uh, the other stations. Also note that if you set your received DGID number to anything other than 00, received signals that do not have the same DGID number will not be heard. When accessing the C4FM digital repeater controlled by the DGID number, Set the transmit DGID number of your radio to the repeater input number. Okay, well let's go ahead and go to the radio here and I'll show you how to set up the DGID mode. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set this uh, digital ID number to a desired ID group. Uh, let's say we have a group out there that we want to put onto a digital ID group of, uh, I'll say, 10. So let's go ahead and do that. Just press your F menu, function menu button. You come up to this screen. If you don't see, what we're looking for right here is the digital ID right here. If you don't see that, you may be on the wrong screen. You may be on the secondary menu here. If you don't see the digital ID, just go to the lower right, click back, and you should see it in the main screen. So let's go ahead and press digital ID. Brings us to this digital ID setup screen now. To input our transmit, let's say we're going to go to 10, <clears throat> go ahead and press F menu. That'll take you there. Using the dial on top, you can rotate left, or clockwise or counterclockwise. We're going to 10 in this case. Here's 10. We've got our digital ID 10 set. Press F menu, brings you back. Using the dial again, scroll down to your receive. F menu again. Rotate clockwise or counterclockwise until we get to 10. Okay, we're on 10. There we go. F menu takes you back. Now you can go back to the main screen with two different options. One of them is hit the power button or the other is the back button. We'll just hit the power button. And there we are. We're back to our main screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset this. Let's say you want to go ahead and set this up to pick up all stations. And that would be the receive on zero, 00. So we have to set that back to zero, 00. Let's say our repeater is set to zero, 00 to receive all stations. So again, to the F menu, to DGID or DGID. Okay, F menu. That will take us to our numeric uh, function here. Scroll clockwise or counterclockwise back to zero. Okay, we're on zero. F menu. Rotate the dial until you go down to the receive, DGID receive. F menu. Rotate your dial again to zero. F menu again. Now this time, instead of using the PTT button to get back to the mainstream, we're going to use our back button. There you go. It's as simple as that. It's not hard at all to go ahead and select your digital ID numbers on the Yaesu FT5D radio. The steps are simple when you want to set up your radio for the C4FM mode. 
I hope I've provided you some useful information regarding the C4FM mode, and I plan on doing more videos on the Yaesu FT5 radio shortly. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of the release of these future videos. Go on, I do have another question for you though. Have you ever used the C4FM mode before on your Yaesu radio? If so, please leave a comment below and tell us how you liked it. Tell us what you could think could be improved and how did you use it? What was the uh, purpose of using the C4FM mode? If you have any other questions or comments, that is, either, please comment below and I'll respond to the questions asked as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and I'm Steve, K4SRF. I'll catch you on the air.